I would like to ask you a question because we are showing and we are discussing about um, how, invest, how has changed the perception of the investors. But my main concern is, is changing the perception as well of the vendors? Because currently we have a lot of investors trying to, 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 to get some properties in Spain. And maybe they can say, okay, if we have so many investors looking for properties now in Spain, maybe we are now wrong. Maybe we, we need to keep the value of the properties and we need to adjust uh, a little the prices again. And it will be very difficult to continue with this uh, um, increasing the, the, I mean, the, the turnover that yeah. we had during 2013. We, 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 we can have a stop in this process yes. because of that. Well, I would say, as a, a potential seller, that wait until summer. Mm -hmm. So now it's hot. Mm -hmm. I think uh, prices uh, will go up during the, the following months. But there are always um, investors that have um, refinancing problems, uh, need to sell assets, to have uh, capital, to invest. But uh, for the moment, uh, I would say, wait a little bit, and then in summer, let's see what, what is happening. My perception is that at, at real estate level, uh, people might have a bit of this temptation. But at higher level, you know, visibility of balance sheet, etc., the, 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 the forces are so, so big you know, in order to restructure things, uh, excess of debt, uh, clear commitment from the banks to reduce exposure, especially the national ones. Obviously, Saref hanging there with a clear commitment to sell. All this is macro, macro level. All these are big forces. <coughs> and I think, to some extent, they are not dependent on the cycle. I mean, these things need to be done. Uh, and I think the perception, my, 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 our visibility is that a lot of people are taking this as an opportunity from the vendor side. And they are saying, okay, now, now we can go to the market and, you know, it looks like we will have people bidding, you know. Yeah. Well, before it was like, it's a big risk. I mean, I, I cannot be there losing face and putting, you know, uh, a mm -hmm. very visible uh, sell and nobody probably bidding at a kind of reasonable uh, radio. So I think it is supplies at this moment uh, reacting very positively about the opening of the window for a market there. Mario, you want to come uh, on? My view is uh, absolutely the same in terms that um, now we are bidders for things, okay? That is something that we didn't have 18 months ago. But uh, let's say that if uh, a value of anything is the discounted cash flow, uh, or, the, or, the value, or the present value of the discounted cash flow and the present value of the expectations, we have already uh, the value of the expectations. But we really need to see the uh, present value of the discounted cash flow. We really need to see an improvement in rents, in uh, turnovers, in uh, all the fundamentals of the real estate core business to be reflected in price. So what we need is to keep a little bit cold ourselves and say, okay, it's a good moment, now we have bidders, but don't get crazy because if we got crazy about prices as far or, uh, or as quick as the investor has come to, uh, back to the Spanish market, they will leave. So. Uh, you have to, to, to keep uh, in the reality of the things. And OK, we have the expectations, but we need to see improvements in the real things. Mm 